It's coming up December 26th to 31st. We will be in Texas, Missouri, and Ohio. Go get your tickets. End the year with us. Co-headline and doing stand-up comedy. It's going to be fun. It's going to be great. Go to salvocanocomedy.com or christycomedy.com. It's going to be great. Got, yeah, it's going to be great. <laughs> it's going to be great. <laughs> and then also, babe, also, babe, you know what I just put on sale today? What's that? Oh, actually, yesterday is I'm coming to Chicago. I'm doing the Chicago Theater. Use the pre-sale code chaos. The pre-sale's happening right now at christycomedy.com. The Chicago Theater, March 12th, baby. Okay, and here we go for me. I got to call out two dates. San Diego on January 21st at the Magnolia Theater and Los Angeles January 22nd at the Wiltern Theater. I have not headlined in Los Angeles yet. It's going to be a real special show. There's going to be some surprise guests there from the LA area. It's going to be a lot of fun. Go see that. One last thing to call out. Yeah. We're both playing the Agora Theater in Cleveland. Oh my God. When are you going to be there? I'm going to be there on January 16th, babe. Yes, and I'm going to be there in March. Yes. So, uh, yeah, so you're going to be there 60 days after me. I'm going to leave you a joint underneath one of the seats. I'm going to tape it to one of the yes. seats. Come to both shows at the Agora Theater. Uh, if you don't, I'll kill your loved ones. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want a lot for hey babe There is just one thing I need Hey babe Don't care about the presents Underneath the hey babe tree I don't need to hang my stocking There upon the fireplace Hey babe Santa Claus will make me happy With a toy on hey babe day I just want you for my own more than you could ever know Make my wish come true Baby, all I want for Hey, babe, is you Happy Hanukkah Hello, Kwanzaa Kwanzaa Happy every celebration Happy every celebration Happy Happy Kwanzaa God bless it Merry Chris Whatever you want to do Enjoy your holidays Have fun, fun, fun uh, in Norway, Santa is gay now. Is that right? They've made Santa gay in Norway, um, which is uh, pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, got a big gay Santa. What, what, do you, what do you mean? Like he, He's just fully gay. He makes out with a guy on, I mean, just... Really? You know, he yeah. came, like he came out? Christmas advert made by the Norwegian Postal Service uh, shows Santa Claus uh, in a gay relationship. Wow. So, yeah, Mrs. Claus has been... Mrs. Claus has... has uh, She's been written out of the story. What can you do? You, you know, it happens... I um Christmas to me I enjoy Christmas. I do. I really really do, but it stresses me out. Okay. I get really 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 stressed Explain. with Christmas. This year, I wouldn't say I'm as stressed just because you know, in 3 days we're going to we're going to be doing our shows together. Start in Texas, December twenty sixth. Three days, babe. Today's three, the twenty third. Today's the twenty third. So for three days from now, we'll be in we'll be in Dallas. So go to christycomedy.com or salvocanocomedy.com and get tickets. You see us. We'll be in Texas, Ohio, and uh, Texas, Missouri, and Ohio from the twenty sixth to the thirty first. So get the tickets. Uh, make it a nice Christmas gift. Come out with your fam. Yeah, um, with so, Spurs. With the Spurs, whatever you want to do. You remember what we promised St. Louis? St. Louis, you come out in a costume. No, no, sorry, Cincinnati. If Cincinnati sells out, yes, we're going out with the crowd. Yes, we're going out with the crowd. If it sells out, we're going out with the crowd. So make sure that sells out. That's in, babe, that's in eight days. Eight days. Um, so I feel like um, I'm less stressed this time. Well, let me just say something. I'm sorry. I'm sorry ahead, to interrupt. Really. It's, I usually just am a giver. But let's just say to Cincinnati people that in order to make this happen, you need to start talking to friends and tell friends about it and bring friends. You need to spread the Christmas cheer and the word because we got to sell that out. It's not going to sell out on its own. It's going to take a Christmas miracle and the people of Cincinnati to come together to make a night that none of us will ever forget. I know all the recent advertisements wherever you look have been stopped to spread, not from the 26th or 31st. We need you to spread it. We need you to go ahead and spread it. Spread the word. Um, so, so um, it stresses me out because... I feel I want my children, great foot, I want my children to get gifts, and I, I, I've already bought them their gifts, and I want, you know, at, you know, cross the list, checking it twice, all that. But, 
you know, to where I have to go for Christmas Eve in my in my family's house, so I love being there, but I have to buy like 30 people gifts. Yeah. And I and I don't want any gifts. Like I don't care. Buy my children I'll buy my kids gifts, I'll buy the kids gifts. But why do I have to buy a 65-year-old aunt anything? I, I don't need them to get me anything. It's, I know it's it's, it's Do you a, get stressed by it or do you just say it's giving, it's okay. joyous? What I'll do you say? I'll tell you the truth. I'll tell you the truth for real. I love Christmas. I make no bones about it. Mm-hmm. It's my You're favorite, Santa Claus. It's my favorite holiday. Yeah, I, I, I am. And uh, I love it. I actually am a person who keeps a, a, file, a note file in my phone all year. If I hear something, and I write it down for people that I don't forget. Wow. Um, so Ashley's the opposite of my family. They're like, hey, why don't we all do a Kris Kringle? This way, we don't have to go crazy. Everyone get the kids. And then we all do a Kris Kringle, so one adult gets one adult, and we're done, and we're done, did it. Yeah. And, and I get that. I get the convenience of that. And I tell them, no problem. And we do the Kris Kringle, and then I proceed to buy every single person gift still. <laughs> you do it yeah. anyway. Yeah, I do it anyway. Because it brings me joy. So me agreeing to buy one person is limiting my Christmas, and I don't limit my Christmas. <laughs> Let me ask you this. Today's December 23rd. Are you 100% done with your Christmas shopping? Yes and no. Like, uh, you know, I, I have things in the mail that I'm hoping still get here at the cutoff. But then some people I won't see until after we get back. Do you, so, do you go big on Amazon? You know, in the, in the last few years, I have gone big on Amazon because it's really the only practical way for me. Right. You know, right now you're a good gift giver. I've heard, but it has there ever been a gift uh, that that's what we've heard. You heard that? I heard that on the street. Right, right. uh, is there a gift you ever gave that you're like that was bad? That went really badly. Mm. I'm sure there's some with my girl. I I usually I usually like you know how they say you can't, a guy can't don't you won't find clothes or things like that. You can't get them because it's a very personal thing to buy. I usually hit it out of the park with everything I get. In the, in like all the time we've been together, I think I I think I got two gifts that looking back were like what was I thinking? One was like just a. <laughs> Pair of earrings that were terrible, dude. One of the. And funny- I don't really. I'm not an earring guy. Not a jewelry guy. This wasn't expensive earrings. It was like an add-on at the counter that I got. Oh. They were like terrible. And then there was one other thing. But normally, like I love just being like, get open that, and then just being like, I fucking nailed it. Like that's dude, what I'm about. One of the funniest things I ever seen is one of my boys and. I remember we always go to one of my friends' house, usually on December 26th after Christmas, like hang out, whatever, get together. One of my boys came over once a few years ago, and he was like, just having, he was so sad. And we're like, what's going on? He's like, my girl dumped me. And we were like, why? For Christmas, a girl that a girl was dating, their first Christmas, they were dating for like eight months. He gave her, the only gift he gave her was a card that had $100 cash in it. Oh, my God. And she got oh him, my like, God. thoughtful, embroidered shirts and sweaters and this. He gave her a card with $100 cash. Who is this person, and how does he not know any better? She dumped him. He's an idiot. Did you? T- what, did, what was your reaction to that when he told you We that? were on the floor dying <laughs> laughing. I was like, well, you should just give he me a scratch off. He gave a C note. Yeah, he was like, he was like, but I don't understand. Like, a hundred dollars is like real money, and I was like, not to your girlfriend, it isn't. Oh my god, who gives a shit? <laughs> oh my, god. you gave her cash, 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 like bro. he's like he's Donnie Brasco, like he's freaking Donnie Brask. A yeah. hundred dollars cash. It's the most thoughtless gift you could ever give. Is there a more thoughtless gift than just giving cash? Maybe is a cash maybe a gift the most card. Thought- I know that cash is good, and you know, especially now with the way the economy is, it's great to you know give people cash. But I want to know: is cash the most thoughtless gift? Is it just the oh, what's worse, cash or a gift card? I think if it's your partner or significant other, cash is a misplay. But I think a lot of times people would rather be like, "Just give me the fucking cash," because you're going to get me something that I'm not going to like or use. I'm going to have to fake it. I'm going to either double gift it, throw it away, try to return it, and get credit. I think most people would be like, "Just give me the cash." But that really, really, for me, I get the logic, but it takes away the elements of Christmas. It does. I like it, it to be special. I like, I like the challenge of finding a good gift and receiving the joy I get in my heart when they open up the gift that was a thoughtful gift. Now, do you wrap your gifts by yourself? <laughs> well, I'm not a great rapper. And I do as do, many do as some I can. Do, drop some bars. Yeah, <laughs> I do as many as I can myself. And uh, my, 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 my lady helps me. And I'll tell you how bad of a rapper I am. I used to, for years, for years, I used to wrap gifts in tinfoil. Wow. Yeah, because check it out. No scissors needed. No tape needed. Interesting. A shiny. <laughs> and to be honest, the gifts stay fresh. 
<laughs> Stay fresh. Yeah. Why don't you give me a beat? I'll do a freestyle for you right now. Do it right do now. Freestyle rap. <laughs> Uh, what's up? It's Chrissy Claus coming at you, at your balls. Gonna wrap up your gift in tin foil. Then I'm gonna ask my name Schmoyle. I don't usually rap like this, but uh, uh, the, uh hold on, uh, hold on. We out here, yo. It's your boy, Chrissy Kringle I'm gonna come and give you some Pringles I want you to mingle But watch out, you could get COVID So don't leave the stove it on for your mom Get a fake butt uh. <laughs> Hard to get a ticket, hard to get a ticket to Funkmaster Flex Night <laughs> Could you imagine... Dude, that would be, I mean, what's more embarrassing? Like, if you went out there in front of thousands of people and you were a rapper and you had to freestyle rap and you, like what, like a real Eminem moment. Did you see on the- Has that happened? Did you see on the local news station the guy who touted himself as a freestyle rapper who wrote two or three freestyle books about freestyle rapping and live on the air, they go, could you do a freestyle for us right now? And he goes, sure, sure. And then he goes, years ago, they tried to- can we see this? Can we pull this up? What, what do we have to Google? Years ago, they tried to put freestyle rap local news. I, I'm sure it'll come up. Freestyle and, rap and local news. he just news. gets frozen on live air, and he's like, is this live? And she goes, yeah. And she goes, would you like to just- Is this the guy? Yeah. She goes, would you like to just read from a passage from the book? <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see this. Can we show this? We're going to find out. This is from the talk of Alabama. Demon. I don't want to demon. Uh, uh, that's an edited version. She actually says to him- do you want to just read from the book? And he's like, yes, I'll just read from the book. Oh Yo! So far, how mortifying is that? I mean, I can't think Shout of- Shout out Marshall Pope. Because it's one thing to like bomb and stand up, but it's like, it's comedy, it's funny, but like when you're not supposed to be funny at all- Yeah, well, we're supposed to bomb. I mean- Yeah, it's like it happens. You have to try new shit. I, mean, well, like, I used to go on the road with rappers, and I would watch a young rapper with no shirt on with abs bomb. Bomb. But how do you Zero. bomb at a music show? Like, explain it's, that. It's way worse than comedy, guys. It's but how, bad. though? Like, you know what I'm well, saying? Well, you're trying to freestyle. This is, no, this is even with... Oh, you just mean like, a, like his regular material? I like the crowds just like get out? When music bombs, it's way more painful than comedy. Because mm. they also hate your vibe. <laughs> wow. It, yeah, it's not good. You almost can't turn it around. A song is like four minutes. Yeah. yeah. It feels like, yeah, I was going to say, like you can't... We got our techniques, you know, if something's not going well. Yeah, weave in, weave out, whatever it may crowd. be. Yeah, whatever it is. Interesting. Yeah, dude, uh, that was, I mean, yeah, Google that because that was even painful just watching that. I feel bad for that guy. I'm sure he committed suicide that night. <laughs> right? <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> Years ago, they're trying to... Yo, yo, because you know I'll be reading the box. <laughs> <laughs> His, it, it was at the big suck was the Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> um, Speaking of the Bible, did um, I, I, brought, I actually wanted to actually show you this thing. Did you, I've asked you if you heard of Dr. Br the brand Dr. Bronner's. No, I never heard it's of it. It's a very popular brand. It's in most markets. Okay. And it's very distinct because they have this very old school looking label on all their products. Right, like you see which, that? which I think, by the way, is a very smart thing for companies to do in restaurants. If it's an old label or an old storefront, it tells me that it's been around a while and then tells me subconsciously it's good. Yeah, I swear to God, that must be what they're on to because I saw this and I feel like it's good. By the way, shout out to Dr. Bronner's. I am someone who uses your products. Now, I've used them for years, different kinds. Not all, I don't always just get this toothpaste, but recently I read the label because see how much writing is on the label? Yeah. Do you see all so that? That's a writing? lot of words. And I was like, what is this what does this say? And let me read you what it says. Okay. Listen, children, eternal father, eternal one. For for on God's spaceship earth, we with bomb <laughs> oh with bomb and gun, we're all one or none. <laughs> Life's goal to keep my health, to do my work, to love, to live, to see it. I gain and grow and give and give. Never to look behind me for an hour. Never to wait in weakness nor walk in power. Always working, sat, searching for more truth, more light. Always speaking, fighting for what I found good and right. Robbed, starved, beaten, fallen, smeared, and slandered wide astray. Back with full truths I have learned, back to the way. Smile, work, 
help build the brotherhood of man, all man, on full truths, all one God faith, it can stay. So help us, God. Hurrah, ahoy and hi. Wow. <laughs> now That's was, already a better freestyle then. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was I was brushing my teeth when I caught this. I was just like, I, I, there's a disconnect here for me. That, well, I mean, it's it's borderline psychotic, though. I would imagine, I mean, this guy what? has that those exact words engraved with a kitchen knife somewhere on his body. <laughs> and then, this is there's more. Wait, there's more. Zor- Zoroster, Zoroster, the great Asian teacher, Asian teacher some 6,000 years back. He who seeds God's soil with good seed by loving toil... Reaps greater merit, wisdom, progress, freedom, happiness, and health than he who writes 180 books, repeats 99 prayers, or sits 100 years in meditation. Exceptions? Absolutely none. Confucius, Israel, Moses, Jesus, Zoroaster, the type of hardworking men with whom civilization begun. Again, this is an all-in-one peppermint toothpaste. I was going to say, this is just toothpaste, folks. Fluoride-free, 70% organic ingredients, but... You know, I, I just, I, I love the products. They're wonderful products. I love the packaging, everything about it. I And I don't even dis, dislike, I actually think it's very curious and peculiar that they put that on there. But what is that? What is that? What is going on? What's his name? Dr. Bronner? Bronner. I, <laughs> so this is a, a four-in-one lavender organic sugar soap. Absolute cleanliness is godliness. Teach the moral ABCs that unite all mankind. Free instantly, six billion strong, and we're all one. Listen, children, eternal father, eternally one. Again, this is a lavender soap. <laughs> I just am a little confused. I understand. I get there. I get he's breaching on maybe his uh, philosophies. I love if you meet Doctor Branner too. He's not religious at all. He's like, bro, what's up? <laughs> yeah, he's like, he's like, G- you believe in Jesus? <laughs> you Dr. freak. Call me Doctor Broner. Yeah. He's like, come on, dude. I do that to sell toothpaste. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Did you buy the toothpaste? Yeah. You bought it, it didn't you? Exactly. <laughs> you're asking me like I'm so you're you're, you're washing your body with my lavender scrub. Well, I mean, listen, they say the story of Christmas is that Jesus today, uh, December 25th is the day Jesus was born. But when you look, if you watch any of those documentaries on the History Channel or whatever, they say if there were shepherds out, he wasn't born in December. Because the shepherd wouldn't have come out unless it was the spring. So unfortunately, the truth of the situation is that... December 20, there was a council called the Council of Nicaea. I think it was 345 A.D. Okay. I think it was called the Council of, it was called the Council of Nicaea. I think it was 345 A.D. or 336. They picked a date. They just picked, they literally did it. You ready for this? Sound babes. Don't tell me this. Don't tell, don't, don't, don't tell Dr. Braun of this. I know. The, the, <laughs> they picked, they picked <laughs> Christmas. They most likely picked Easter, and they picked the four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, because there was like 30 Gospels. So they just picked the ones that looked, made Jesus look the best, mm. and then they picked December 25th for, I think it was because it was like I, somebody's like birthday. No. Yeah, and like that's what they did, but really he-, he We Jesus, don't know. Jesus most likely- We don't know the date. Wasn't born December He's probably 25th. probably a springtime were, kid. If there were shepherds out. Yeah. That's what they say. Now- Well, is, I mean- they did a good job because the branding for Christmas, like with the snow. Yeah, imagine Christmas in the sun. I mean, that would suck. If no, was I was sun. in uh, the Florida Keys one year on December 7th. It was 95 degrees and people had all their, all their houses lit up with lawn decorations. And yeah, no, no, no. And it felt like I was in another planet. It's it's very strange. If you're, if you're, if the temperature where you live is above 60 degrees, I'd say Christmas is canceled in your city. Yeah. <laughs> That's how what you, I'll say. So if you're listening you, right now. How do you watch Christmas movies and look out uh, outside and you have to put on SPF? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? By like, the way, sp- speaking of SPF, speaking of Christmas, I'd like to yeah. shout out Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Bucks uh-huh. for winning yet another Super Bowl. And I'd also be remiss if, You'd I, be remiss. if I didn't mention Patrick Mahomes. Yeah. It and, was a hell of a game. And I think we'll, we're going to see them again next season, both of them. Yeah. And, uh, you know, Brady, Brady did it at 43 years old. And you know what I astounding. feel like doing? I feel like doing it again. I'd like to shout out Tom Brady. 100%. And the Tampa Bay Bucks. Yeah. just And and you'd be even more remiss if you didn't p- talk about Patty Mahomes. Twice and, as remiss. And them Chiefs. Yes. We, we double up because it just feels there was a need to double up. <laughs> the Christmas spirit wants to do it twice. Yeah. So, still on track. Also, uh, do you want to... 
to tell the audience about that last point you left off on? Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, the big uh, continuation. Right, the big continuation. So, so the last point that I left off was the fifth the fifth um the fifth thing that Seneca said to live by was death is not in the distant future. We are dying every day. So Merry Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the first four, the, if you watched last week's episode. And we know the that you first, are. We know that you did. did. The first four were bangers. Yes. And then that fifth one was a real downer. What are bangers and mash? I don't know. What is a banger? I think it's a sausage. In the European. I think it's a bra. And it's mashed potatoes? It got to be mashed potatoes. Pimpy? I what think is a banger? Are they a banger? It actually looks fantastic. Known as sausages and mash is a traditional British dish. Um, did you know that England and Britain is not the same thing? England's a part because of Britain. Of Brexit? You know, like when you say Britain, when you yeah. say I'm from, if I said, "Hey, I'm from Britain," what would you think? I would think you are. I would think that you are. What country am I from? I would think you're from England. Right, but if you if I'm from England, I'm from England. If I'm from Britain, I it's like I'm saying from I'm from North America. Britain is encompassed by Northern Ireland, UK, Scotland, and the UK. Oh wait, so Britain is not the UK? No, I think I think Britain is I think Britain I'm not gonna look. Here's what I think Britain is. Okay. No, Britain is the UK. Here's what I think Britain the UK is. UK England is Scotland. Northern Ireland and Ireland, Wales. Ireland, That's Britain. Wales. Is that Britain? Britain is the landmass where England is. England is one country and the United Kingdom is four countries. Oh, so I'm, which one am I forgetting? United Kingdom is a sovereign state made of four countries: England, Wales, Scotland, and Northern Ireland. That's okay. So England, so, Wales, so whereas Britain is the landmass yes. where England is. England is one country, and the United Kingdom is four countries. So Britain is England. It is England, Britain but it's is not the land just mass England. Where England is, what but does that mean? Because <laughs> Brit, because the landmass where England is, where the landmass where Britain is, encompasses England, Wales, Scotland, and Northern Ireland. Have you ever been to Wales? I have. Really? I I want to go to Wales. Like you can, yeah. do you see castles everywhere you go or just Yo, I had a I had a sick time in Wales. Seriously? I went to castles and everything. No, I'm being dead serious. And I went out with a nightlife. I I I went to Leeds. I've been I've been Is to, Leeds in Wales? No. I'm just saying I I did a UK tour and I've hit every motherfucker up there. But Wales, do you anything significant about Wales? Cuz uh, Wales they say it's got go all the castles. Up, I got to go back and look at my notes. Can but we I go on a tour of England I and the UK swear to you. That I really, really want to tour England. For all the UK people watching and listening, uh, I see your messages, and I've never done it solo out there, and I promise you I will get out there. I want to go. I want to go, too. Yeah. I want to go bad. I love the UK. It's a fun time out there, man. They, yes. know, they know how to do it. Should we go together? really, Should... really good fans. No joke. I want to really go with you. Fans. Yeah. I want to go with you and rent a bus. Let's do it. Seriously. I will do that. I'm not um, kidding. Pimple come. Let's do it. All right. Yeah, I'm down. I'm, no joke. I'm down. No joke. Now, Pimps Chris, never left the continental United States. Swear. I, I was my first flight was 26, 25. Wow. What were you the first time you what did what do you remember that day? The first time you got on a plane? Yeah, I hired me to go do something. So what did you do? But do I flew you, to South by Southwest. <laughs> Buttocks. <laughs> <laughs> were you scared? Like cuz you knew what could go no, wrong? I'm, no, I'm so old. No, I was just pissed. I I never went on vacation before. My first flight ever was a uh, eighteen nineteen. Really? Never went on childhood vacation on a plane. And then nice. you saw Seinfeld, right? That's that's, yeah. that's the same trip, baby. I remember that nice. right to L.A. Yeah, I was on a flight when I was eight. I went to Orlando. Shout out Disney World. All right, listen, man. I've been really uh, getting my mental health in check and really been focusing and trying to calm down and get in the right headspace. And I've been using the app Headspace. Headspace. I mean, babe, you know about this? Yeah, I use it on planes all the time. It's seriously, it's like I calm, I calm myself down but like before we take off, then use it while we're in the air. And I, I just it's, honestly, it's man, cool. it's like my mind, like sometimes it feels like it's like sprinting for years on end. It just never stops and it leaves trails of stress, anxiety, fatigue. And I just felt like it was eroding my mental health. So, and if you're nodding yes to this, it's time to adopt small daily practices that will have an impact on your long term happiness and well being. And I can confirm that this is true. And it's easy to learn with Headspace because however you're feeling, try Headspace. And listen, it doesn't matter. Even if you feel like you don't have problems, just go to headspace.com slash hey babe and get one month free of their entire mindfulness library. And I guarantee you, even if you're feeling great, you're going to feel even better if you do this. I promise you. Yeah, it's, it's actually kind of cool. If, you, if you've never tried one of these things before, 
do it, and I think it's almost like you can't not like it. Right. Because it works, and it just kind of literally calms you down. Right. And if you don't have anything else that does that kind of thing, it's an app on your phone. You could do it anywhere, and you commute in the morning when you're trying to rest at night. Listen. That's when I. That's the most times I use it. And this is the best Headspace offer available. If you go to headspace.com slash heybabe today, that is the best offer that they have, headspace.com slash heybabe. All right, listen, guys, if you're carrying a credit card balance month after month, it can feel like you're in a never-ending cycle of debt with no end in sight. Upstart can help you make that final payment so you can get ahead. Rather than looking at a credit score alone, Upstart considers other factors like your income, current employment, and credit history to find you a smarter rate for your loan. Find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments today when you go to upstart.com slash heybabe. That's upstart.com slash heybabe. Loan amounts will be determined based on your credit, income, and certain other information provided in your loan application. That's upstart.com slash heybabe. I was supposed to go as a kid to Disney World, and I got the flu. But, yeah, you couldn't go because your mom was getting the fake, but, fake butt. Yeah, she was getting Botox. Yeah. Botox. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you got the flu. Could have been COVID. Could have been. That's You could have been one of the early cases Yeah, that you got in 1977. Six. Six. Very good. Bicentennial. Bi- you were born in the bicentennial. I was. You're a true American hero. I have a different quarter than everybody else. Wow. The back of my quarter is a special back. Yeah. yeah. Do you- we're not going to make it to 2076, probably. Well, we let's, let's do the math. 21 minus 76 is 55. 55 added to my age right now is 100 years old. You could make it. Wait, why, why couldn't I just know that? I was born. <laughs> <laughs> what did I do? I took the long route, the scenic route. I was born in 1976. 100 years later, I, it would be 2076. You... You have an outside pimp almost definitely will make it to the to the tricentennial. You think so? Because yeah. he has because we're gonna make strides. Pimp's gonna make it. Pimp, pimp's gonna make strides. Pimp's gonna make yeah. it. Yeah. Cause cause yeah, you might make it, buddy. You Don't might worry, make I'll, it. I'll uh, upload you guys N- to the metaverse. <laughs> Knock on wood. I have good I, I come from pretty good genes. My a lot of my grandparents my grandma's still alive. My grandpa lived to almost ninety six and you know, so so maybe I'll do it. I don't know. Knock on schmud. Speak of Christmas. Um, we, you know we have to talk about this in New York. Uh, they set the Christmas tree on fire outside the Fox News. I building. saw that. I saw that. It what did you do? It ended up being. Didn't end up being a. It ended up being like a real nut job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then they. they I mean, that's funny because I've walked past that Christmas tree. I mean, a million times. Yeah, yeah. And they lit it right on fire, folks. Yeah, you I know, mean, I, 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 you know, I need to tell you something. Whenever I've tried to light something on fire, it doesn't take. How I, do people do it? I don't know, dude. I'm scared. You can tell me, give me a match and a piece of paper. I It won't get the paper on fire. I can't even. Like in the movies, they throw a match. Ready for this? I'll take it even one step further. I can't even light a match or use a lighter. Every time I, I go to do a lighter, I burn my thumb. Yeah. And I've never been able, not once in my life, yeah. to take a matchstick and light it. Isn't that wild? Not once in my entire life. And this guy's life. lighting up the Fox Christmas tree. And this guy tree. lit up the Fox Christmas tree. Yeah. Lit it up in a different way. In a, yeah. 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 I mean, do you, do, do you, the lighter thing, is that wild? Is it, that weird? Yeah. I know what you mean because it happens every once in a while for me. And you burn your I, thumb. Yeah. 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 And you just deal with that? Well, it doesn't happen often. <laughs> every single time I do it, I'm like, do I have it backwards? Yeah. Do you think you? I could never start a fire in the woods. Forget it. No. You ever see those people that use like that a flint or like two two rocks or those two things? They they get a spark. No way, dude. Never. No way. Jose. I'm telling you right now. If you gave me a match and I tried to light this couch on fire, I'm telling you a book of matches. Right. I don't know if I'd be able to do it. You wouldn't be able to do it. Yeah. Don't try it at home. Right. Don't try it at home. No. Listen. How about this? Ready for this? We're gonna have to play a little fuck Mary kill right now. Ooh. Okay. In the holiday spirit. Yeah. Ready to go? Yeah. Fuck, Mary kill. Santa Claus? Yeah. Easter Bunny? Mm. Who's the third one? Let me get it. Santa Claus, Easter Bunny. Whoever you say is going to be right, because I blanked out. Cupid? Let's do Cupid. But, no, but who was your third one, though? Because it wasn't Cupes. I started the Let's Play Fuck, Mary kill. Not knowing where you were going. Not knowing where the third one was going to be. Oh, I thought wow. it was going to pop into me, but it doesn't. I thought, of a, I thought of a leprechaun. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> I thought of your hair looks great. I, I thought of a leprechaun. I thought. Of, by the way, if you're not watching the pod, we love the listeners. We love the listeners. Yeah. But if you are not watching the <laughs> yeah. pod, for example, I am currently 
fully dressed as Santa Claus. Yes, and I am currently in a <laughs> uh, ugly Christmas sweater with just Santa Claus's hair on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 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 um, I was gonna say a leprechaun because it's St. Pat's, but then I was like, no. Then I was like, who's the Thanksgiving person? There was none. Then I was like, who's the New Year's person? So I landed on Cupid. Now, Cupid in a, in, a, in, a, in a fuck marry kill Cupid. I guess you want to fuck Cupid, right? I don't know. Do you want to fuck him or do you want to marry him? Because he's the, whoa, I mean, the foundation, right? He's love. He's love. So I think I, I think I marry Cupid. I'll tell you right now. I marry Cupid. I, I fuck Santa. <laughs> <laughs> he's jolly. Yeah. This, this, and, 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 and he's giving. Yeah. And uh, I would fuck him. And then uh, the Easter bunny, I would slaughter it. I would, you would kill slaughter, him. You could eat it. Yeah, because I'm not going to fuck a bunny. No. And then also, let's be honest, he's just bringing chocolate to the table. Nothing else. Nothing else. Nothing else. I mean, same thing you could say for Cupid, but at least Cupid has a little bit of an MO beyond the chocolates. Right. I mean, right. I know the Easter Bunny is, is the Easter Bunny related? Because it's, it's a separation of church and state here, right? Yeah. Like the Easter Bunny yes. is, has nothing to do with, 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 with Jesus uh, resurrecting. Nope. The Easter Bunny is yeah, a Hallmark. To yeah, it. Hallmark yeah. made the fucking Easter Bunny. Yeah, so I would, I would slaughter the Easter Bunny. I would slice his neck off. You cut, him, you cut his head clean off? I would cut his head clean off. What can you, yeah. Yeah, and I would leave it, leave it somewhere to, 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 to warn people what you do when you just tempt people with sugar, which is poison. Do you know what, you know what, um, you know what um, uh, Bunny <laughs> is called in German? The when you when you eat rabbit, Hans and Pfeffer. You know how I That's learned that, that from the movie The Mighty Ducks from oh, that guy Hans. He yes. says, "Oh, I have Hans and Pfeffer." Oh, I saw. I heard Hans and Pfeffer in the cartoons. Let me ask you this: Why are there eggs tied to the to a bunny? Do bunnies lay eggs? How does no. a rabbit get born? I think up through vaginal I, vaginal birth. That's what I thought, right? So where the I, eggs, I think it's a vaginal birth. Where are the eggs coming from? No bunnies do not lay eggs as placental mammals. Rabbits develop embryos inside a uterus and after pregnancy lasting about 33 days, give birth to a litter of 12 bunnies. Wow, 33 days. That's a fucking gestation period. That's that, a quick Holy, got to, that's a quick turnaround. That's why people say fuck like rabbits. Interesting. Maybe because they just procreate like a, a rabbit Out of speed. nowhere. And then they give 12. But, bunnies are cute. But where do the eggs come from? Well, there's chickens. Is are chicks? Are chicks and chickens involved with Christmas? Bunny Easter I mean, bunny <laughs> with Easter. Are chickens involved with Easter? No. So why are we doing bunnies and eggs? What, what, yeah, why do that's bunny... a hodgepodge? Uh, so they become a symbol of new life. Symbol of new life. This. Oh, okay. Rabbits usually give birth to a big litter of babies called kittens. That's interesting. So they became a symbol of new life. Legend has that the Easter bunny lays, decorates, and hides eggs. As they are also a symbol of new life. That's why what? some children what? enjoy Easter egg hunts. A of-, of shit. Yeah, Easter egg, you're bullshit. That's why you're getting killed. Peter Cottontail, I mean, just as in that sentence, the Easter bunny lays, decorates, and hides the eggs. That's what it is. I mean, that is, I mean, that's a lot. I mean, that's, that's a lot. too much. It's going to shoot out an egg from itself, <laughs> then paint it. And that's then why, hide it. That's why nobody cares about your holiday. That's why Santa's getting fucked. And Santa's gay, so it, it's right up our alley. <laughs> now, what animal would you replace the Easter Bunny with? Who do you think I mean, deserves it? Gotta be a chick. A chickadee. If right? we're gonna do eggs. If you're gonna do eggs, do the chicken. Why why didn't they do carrots? Which, by the way, why do we do carrots with bunnies? Because of Bugs Bunny? Did he start that or was that already a thing? I think bunnies are, are I, I vegetarians. Think- God, I I I, Does your brain I can't hurt? do this right now. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's too much right now. It's too much. Rabbits don't naturally eat root vegetables or fruit. I love that this is a Christmas episode. We're talking fully about Easter. Uh, carrots and fruit are high in sugar and should only be fed in small amounts as occasional treats. Rabbits need mainly hay and or grass. Some leafy greens and a small measured amount of pellets. So where's the carrots coming from? What can rabbits? I, I don't know. I don't, do not understand it. I'll tell you this. I have not eaten a carrot in maybe five years. Wait, 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 wait. You mean even a cooked carrot as I, a side? I have not eaten a carrot in, I want to say, five years easy. That's wild, cuz. When's the last time you've eaten a carrot, son? Well, Got to be like a week ago. Slice carrots? Slice carrots out the ass. Are you kidding me? I, I order carrots if they're on the menu. I'll tell you what, though. Last time I ate a carrot like Bugs Bunny, maybe never. 
I don't think a I ever did. Carrot, like, I great. never skinned a carrot and then chomped on it like it was a treat like Bugs Bunny did. Never. never. Who does that? Sound off in the comments. If you eat carrots the way Bugs Bunny <laughs> eats carrots, I want to know who you are. Leave your email because I want to talk to you <laughs> live on the next podcast. As you're eating a carrot Bugs Bunny style. Exactly. I've never even seen a Bugs Bunny style carrot in my life in person. Yeah, what do you mean? They're the carrot. The carrots. The carrots. What do you mean? You never seen a carrot? <laughs> I've seen only sliced carrots. Where do you see a Bugs Bunny style carrot? <laughs> Everywhere, the markets have them. What do you mean the supermarket sells them? Bu I've seen only ba you bags seen of a baby bunch carrots. Of carrots with, well, you never this? Seen yeah, I don't think I've seen that. <laughs> they, they, you know, looking at them, it does not seem like we see them. All I've the time. seen bagged carrots. You do not do your own f food shopping. I do. Well, it just go I've been going. They're there. Been going. Oh, they're there. The yeah. carrots are there. Yeah, but I'll tell you what I haven't seen. Not only myself, I've never seen somebody just, I've never been over someone's house, been walking in the street. We live in New York City. Yes. There's seven, eight million people. I've never seen someone just walking down the street, chomping on a carrot like Bugs Bunny. No, but I would love to see more of it. <laughs> I would love to see it. I wish one day is National Carrot Day, and that day <laughs> everyone you see is chomping on a carrot like Bugs. That's what I want. For my New Year's, for 2022, I want to see more people eating carrots, chomping Bug Bunny carrot, style. Chomping carrots. Chomp raw, up a carrot. Raw chomping carrots. I'll tell you another thing. Why do they call them bugs? I think, I don't know. I think it was just a cartoon. Because he's annoying. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, 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 my God. Oh, my God. Call 911. <laughs> my body is, internal body is imploding. You're kidding me. Did you just... Did you just make that leap yourself? Yeah, just now. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Yo, if, if that's one of the real, smartest people. If that's real, if because he bugs everybody, and that's why I will literally, I I don't know what I will I will eat a carrot a day for the next year. <laughs> oh yeah, butcher box. Who's hungry, babe? Oh, I love I my love butcher, butcher box. box. I love it. What's my favorite thing about butcher box? You ask. Probably the fact that I can get steak. Lobsters, shrimp, whatever the hell I want. The food that they give me is freaking fantastic. Okay, the the animals are 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 fed uh, properly, taken care of. There's no antibiotics, no no uh, hormones. There's wild caught seafood. Um, they have all grass fed stuff. beef. Grass fed beef. It's packed fresh uh, and shipped frozen for convenience. I save time on my next grocery trip. It's awesome. Well, that's what I, that's the thing. I don't like going. Uh, Anything I can cut down to the supermarket, I like to do. Yeah. And if you got to start looking at meats, and by the way, sometimes meats at the market are suspect. Yeah. The thing is, I check everything I want. It's a, It comes to me in the mail every month. I don't have to even think about having the meats in the freezer. And it comes in 8 to 14 pounds of beef, of beef. in one shot. So you are stocked when you get it. It's no antibiotics, no uh, no added ho hormones, which is like, that's another thing. You know, you just kind of want it to be that kind of farm-to-table feel, babe. Yeah, and you ready for this? This holiday, Butcher Box has given new members one pack of bacon for free in every box, plus $20 off each box for the first five months of your membership. That's free bacon for life. And up to $100 off if you go sign up at butcherbox.com slash hey babe. That's butcherbox.com slash hey babe if you want free bacon for life. Yeah. That's a pretty good deal. I mean, what what else do you want? Yeah, It's Christmas week and DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NBA, as a gift that'll certainly put you in the holiday spirit. New customers can bet just $5 on any NBA team and win 150 in free bets if they're victorious. It's a great way to put some extra jingle in your pocket. If Sportsbook is available in your state, your Christmas can still be merry. Everyone can play for huge cash, pro cash prizes with DraftKings Daily Fantasy Basketball Contest. DraftKings is giving all new customers a free free shot at millions of dollars in total prizes with the first episode. I've told you before, uh, DraftKings is an app on my phone. I use it every single week for me for football, and I'm not even a gambler, but it just makes my games really fun. I, you could bet as little as a dollar. They also have free pools to get into, yep. so it just makes watching football on Sunday a little more fun for me. So go get the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. Use the promo code HeyBabe. Bet just five dollars on any NBA team, and you can win one hundred fifty dollars in free bets if they're victorious. That's promo code HeyBabe this Christmas week at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports bet partner of the nba must be 21 or older new jersey indiana or pennsylvania only new customers only minimum five dollar deposit and a one dollar wager required one per customer restrictions apply see draftkings.com slash sportsbook for details gambling problem call 1-800-GAMBLER why 
Bun? Oh, animator Bun Bugs Hardaway. Inadvertently christened him when his casual sketch of a proposed rabbit character was labeled Bugs Bunny by a fellow employee. But Bugs... <laughs> Bugaboo. What's bugabear? Bugbear. Oh yeah, the word bug is actually short for bugbear. Pimp, if that was real, I, it's such a good. It, I say it is con- real. Congrats. I'm going. With, <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'm going with Pimp's definition of it. I because he does bug everybody. Oh, I gotta be honest. I watched Looney Tunes my whole life. Bugs, I can take them or leave them. Elmer Fudd's my guy. To, Mine's Daffy. To be honest, I they, like Daffy. If you put them in the real world, those characters, they're QAnon. What? How so? How so? <laughs> let's let's get into this now. They're domestic terrorists. They're crazy because they're they're destroying everything constantly. They never help anyone on the show. <sighs> I don't think I'm blowing that's... my mind today. <laughs> let me let me explain something to you. Did you ever see the one where Bug Bugs always wins, right? Right. But Daffy always loses. Daffy is like the foil to Bugs in a lot of the episodes. Right. Did you ever see the one where they're in on stage in front of a whole crowd, like in a theater? They're on stage in a theater. Okay. And Bugs does a routine, and they're competing. And then Bugs does a routine, and the crowd goes nuts. And then Daffy's like, I've had enough of this. You always outdo me. You always win. And so for my thing, I'm going to literally kill myself. And he swallows gunpowder and a match, and he literally explodes on stage. <laughs> and then his, his angel... Just goes up to heaven, and the crowd goes nuts, and he, he beats Bugs Bunny by committing suicide, I swear to God. And then it goes, that's all, folks. That's all, folks. And then kids are just sitting there that's, watching. That's one, I just realized right now, saying it out loud, it's one, of, it's one of the most popular episodes, and the episode I remember the most, but I'm saying it out loud, and I just for the first time realized what actually went down in this cartoon. He, he fully commits suicide. He was like, you will not beat me. They will. I will top you by killing myself. I swear <laughs> yeah. to Christ. Yeah, can you, can you can you can you type that in? They were never meant for children. Put um put Daffy Duck um, uh, gunpowder. Daffy Duck suicide. Oh my God! <laughs> Daffy Duck. <laughs> the first thing that comes up. The first thing that comes up is Daffy Duck with a gun to his head. <laughs> no, no. Uh, put Daffy Duck on Fox. Yeah, gunpowder. Uh, Daffy Duck, uh, gunpowder. Uh, Bugs Bunny. Put that. See see what happens there. There it is. There, it, there is. it is. There it is. Do it. We won't be able to show this. Guys, here's what you do. Pause it. Put in Daffy's last trick and then come back. Yeah. Okay? And then unpause I it. I need and to come watch back. this now. We're going to watch it. We can't put this the actual audio on because then we'll get flagged and we'll get taken down. I thought I remembered his body with wings going up in the sky. I mean, the fact wow, that he just really said you got to kill yourself to win an Oscar in this okay. town is nuts. So if you watch it and you came back, he... He goes on stage in front of everyone. This remember, this is a sh- this is kids are watching this. Right. Kids, this is a cartoons, Looney Tunes. Yeah. He says, "I'll drink a bottle of nitroglyceride." Then he, another another chemical that I never heard of. Something something, something two thirty eight. Yeah, uranium two thirty eight. Uranium two thirty eight. Nitroglyceride. COVID nineteen. He drinks it in a bottle. Then he says a bunch of gunpowder, and then he says, strike a match and swallow the match. And Daffy is drinking the poison on the stage. Then he explodes, and he says, you must kill yourself in order to win this award in this town. And then Bugs claps and says, that was outstanding. Everyone loves you now. The If that came out today, it's basically telling people to kill themselves. Yeah. Well, they said, uh, Pim pulled up that, that Looney Tunes and, and these cartoons were never meant for children. It says the Warner cartoons were aimed strictly for adults. They were never meant for children. Warner cartoons and other animated short subjects were screened for audiences of all ages at movie houses before the feature presentation, but it was meant for adults. Well, how do you keep that away from kids? I mean, I guess it's, I don't know. But I will tell you this. Nobody drank the uranium and took the gunpowder. Nobody killed themselves. No. I mean, I watched that. I knew that I shouldn't I well, shouldn't so it's that. like, if I'm going to kill myself, I'm not drinking uranium and nitric oxide or whatever, yeah. and then lighting a match and let myself blow up. Right. I'm not going to do that at right. all. It's a big to do. No, dude. <laughs> I'm going to go in the bathtub and I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to bleed <laughs> oh, out. Oh, I hate that one. I hate that one. That's the one I'm going to do. Can you tell us? That's what one? I'm going to do. Merry oh, Christmas. I hate that one. That's going to be my family's Christmas gift this year. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> No, so all I'm saying is... Oh, wait, you guys are doing a suicide break now. I on know. The this is Hey Babe. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Yeah. This yeah. has been the last Hey Babe. <laughs> I just, I'm just saying, uh, you know, this, is, this was some real, real forward stuff here. Yeah. Dark, 
forward stuff. Oh. Yeah. Well, what can you do, you know? I mean, hey, listen, you know, I mean, I feel like a lot of these cartoons, even Roger Rabbit, you know, Roger Rabbit, which came out in 1989, I was told, we were talking about that last week, Roger Rabbit, I mean, they have scenes where, like, one of the guys is getting run over with a fucking forklift, like, they're supposed to be a kid's movie, like, these, they, they, they do it all the time, they say the Smurfs is for adults, all this stuff, all this That's stu- the way you get out of it. Mm-hmm. They're like, this is insane, well, it's for adults. It's for adults. Yeah. Yeah. Now, Chris, before we started, you said someone got thrown out of one of your Christmases. Oh, my God. I remember I must have been eight or nine years old. Oh, I got a story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And one of my uncles got hammered, was drinking vodka straight from the bottle. Yeah. Straight from the bottle. I mean, and was going. That's a sign. That's a sign right away. Was going. The little kids were opening up their gifts. He started opening up. Like our guests before we get to them, back, watch this! Like you know, like like just a drunk idiot fell into you the rem- tree. You remembering? I this remember firsthand. every second first of it firsthand because it and stuck then, with you. And then my aunt threw him out of Christmas, and I remember my other uncle, my grandfather, and me as an eight or nine year old boy had to physically get my uncle out into the middle of the street, and I just remember being like. What am I going to do? Like, this is a grown, drunk man. Wow. Yeah, and I remember it being, like, crazy. And that day, that was the last time he ever, ever, in ever came to Christmas. Now he's dead. But that was the last time he ever came to Christmas. <laughs> wow. It's a Christmas miracle. It's a Christmas miracle. <laughs> so, kids, if you're listening, and we know that you are, just throw your drunk uncle out. He'll die a little bit after that. Yes. So, what's your story? Oh, we were talking about this earlier. It's not a Christmas story. But I don't well, know. Well, nothing why. about this episode has been about Christmas anyway. <laughs> except that we're dressed as Santa. Why did I why did I bring it up earlier when before we started recording? I brought up the, You brought up ice skating. Oh, a zoo, a zoo or animals. Oh, yeah. Something about you talked about animals. And I was like, speaking of animals. What did I say about animals? Because you just made that really uh, interesting trip with Delilah. Where did I go with Delilah? To the circus. Oh, that's right, to the Big Apple yeah. Circus. How was it? The, one of the best shows I've ever been to in my life. A touring circus? A touring? It was. It's called the Big Apple Circus. I know Lincoln it well. Center. I know the brand. You've been there? Well, Ringling Brothers and, and Big Apple. Big Apple was like the go-bot to the, to the Ringling Brothers Transformer. Got it. You know, Ringling Brothers was WWE, and, and then go-bot or... Big Apple. Big was. Apple was more like AEW, but by, but that's not a slight on AEW. AEW wrestling right now is the best product on the market, and it's unbelievable. And I, I watch it every week. I'm, I love you guys. I'm coming to a show in Jan. This is our Christmas episode. Remember yeah. that. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, so, um, no, but but it was always like a little bit of a, a a second fiddle, but it was still awesome. But it just wasn't like it wasn't the big, big glitz and glamour, highly produced. Thing. So I haven't been to the. Um, uh, by the way, there's somebody from the Big Apple Circus was a Hey Babe fan and gave me and my kids uh, free merch and free stuff. So thank you, uh, whoever that woman was. I really appreciate Were it. Were there elephants? There were no animals. Oh, but that's the new thing. There were no animals. We always thought they were well taken care of, but then there was all those docs yeah. and shit that said, no, they're not. But you had the Wandella family, Greg Wandella, who's a world-renowned tightrope walker. You had him tightrope walk. You had a woman on the trapeze. Then the guy who, he was a little person, the guy who was running the show, like he came out with like, you know, welcome your next one, whatever. All of a sudden, just out of nowhere, like two pieces of, of paper like it looked like toilet paper fall from the fall from the top of the building. He gets on them and starts doing like a flying no net trapeze act on the toilet paper. I was like, I thought this guy was just the MC. Whoa! He's a little part takes a shirt off. He was jacked. This no. guy jacked. You'd have never seen it coming. The only one that was kind of a bomb was there was like a dog trainer. She, this lady just came out with a bunch of dachshunds and had them roll over. Even my kids were like, yeah, this yeah. one sucks. I don't want to see it. I, just, I want to see at the circus things I can't see. I don't want to see the dachshund yeah. I can see at the fucking supermarket. I got hammered there. I was drinking. It was called, um, it was some type of Where cosmopolitan. Was it? Lincoln Center. Oh, yeah. so fun. So fun. And then my kids... My 11-year-old stepson and my daughter, six-year-old daughter, they ate way too much candy and popcorn. Both of them separately. It's never happened to me. Vomited at separate times about 30 minutes apart. (laughs) At the circus? No, no, on the way home. In I had the to pull, car? I had to pull, uh, pull over, over on the Lower East Side so my daughter could throw up, and then I pulled over off the BQE in Brooklyn so my stepson could Because they up. just ingested so much low-rent so oh, circus concession. Yes, and I told them, yeah. <laughs> Can yeah. you Google circus mishaps? That might be a fun little little. Yeah, dance. let's do circus mishaps. Yeah. This is a good way. And speaking of circus mishaps, I have a story. Yes. Circus Gone Wrong compilation. Every time I see oh. compilation, I think of one thing. Did you only. say compilation? Is that wrong? <laughs> it's compilation. Oh, compilation. <laughs> yeah. I'm Chrissy Compilation. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh God, this does not look good. Oh, this is a this is was that a, a fireball? Views. Is that is that Bugs Bunny? Oh, when the when the motorcyclists are in that ball that cage, they did not do this insane. at the circus. That is insane. They did not do this at Big. Oh Apple. my God, who's the guy who's gonna f? Oh, oh, oh that could have been worse. That but wasn't how do they too dismount? bad. How do they dismount now? See, oh, my oh I saw God. this. You saw this? Not this, but there was somebody doing a flying trapeze <gasps> act thing. I mean, oh that looks God. like Cirque du Soleil type stuff, though. Yeah, let the audio, oh. let the audio audience know what you're watching. Oh my watching. God, the whole crowd! We, we just oh my God, that person just let go thirty feet in the air and flying into the stands. When flying into the stands, and they're not okay. They called it Fail Force One, which is. So I saw this trapeze. They did this without a net, man. By the way, you know, have you done the flying trapeze school in New York City? I haven't. <laughs> I always thought about. Oh, oh, but there was a net there, so it's like, who cares? Oh, give that me that one. A almost break. doesn't count. Yeah. Oh, See, I've never seen this. Uh, uh, you gotta be. I gotta be honest. Uh, motocross bikes were not meant to be driven inside of a circle. <laughs> they just weren't. Oh, it's very Mad Max. It happens. Oh, I saw this guy. This They had a, a person like this. He's going to fall, I would imagine. This has to suck, though. I mean, do you understand how hard this is? You know how many times he's gotten that right and to get it wrong on the stage live? Oh! <laughs> and then he just gets up. He's no, like, ah! Oh, he's concussed. My circus guy, the one that uh, did it with me, um, he, uh, the only thing, not was a mishap, but he gave up on a trick. He just said, I, I can't do it. Really? Yeah, he was like very high up, and he just said, I can't, and then they, and then everyone, you know, the, the people just came out, like the other workers were like, <laughs> clap it up, clap it up. <laughs> but we were all waiting, we were like, dun, 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 like the music's going wait, up, wait, and, and like we're all like that. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> what, did he, what did he bail on? What specific Similar trick? to that, to one where, he, okay, so what he does, he kept stacking things on things on things on things and getting higher and higher and higher, and the last thing he stacked, he was going to try to do a handstand on this stack that like the bot the bottom of it the, the first level was wheels so it was like all moving but it was like complete core strength and all that and then he kept trying to like he would get half his body up into the handstand go back reset like, okay, okay and then and i think it was after like four or five attempts <laughs> they just shut down the music and he just waved and then everyone was like yeah clap it up uh, and my daughter was like was that the trick i was like yeah honey <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you one quick thing because it's very apropos. So I was up at like, I think it was like Lake George or upstate or something. I was there for a few day trip with a family and there was, we were on like a campsite or something like that. I don't know. But there was a main entertainment area where they had a show every day at like noon. Okay. And in the show, it was a variety act and people came out and did magic. People came out and did certain acts. I believe there was a host. And um, I was there for three days and I went every day. So I saw the same show all three days. And I remember this cowboy came out and he was like, hey, and he, this was his joke. He's like, hey, my name's Bud. And we're like, hey, Bud. And he's like, Bud Weiser. <laughs> and I laughed. Yes. Right? And so then the next day when he came out, he goes, hey, my name's Bud. I'm like, I saw this yesterday. I was that guy. Yeah. I was that kid. <laughs> or I, oh, no, I said it afterward. I go, well, tomorrow will be different or something. So the next day he comes out, he goes, my name's Mick. Michelob. Right. <laughs> yeah. All right. Anyway, I watch all the acts, and then there's this act, and it's this guy in a sequins glittery cowboy outfit with ice skates, and they wheel out this sheet of ice onto the stage, <laughs> and it's probably as big as this room only. Right. And the guy comes out with a chimp. The chimp is a also chimpanzee. A chimpanzee. Or yeah, chimp. One hundred percent chimpanzee. And the chimp is also in a sequins cowboy outfit <laughs> with the hat on. They're in matching cowboy outfits, Love and it. he's doing this shtick with the chimp. <laughs> He's like, oh, Jay, take that. And they're doing this little back and forth with the chimp. And, the chimp, and, and like they have an act, a routine they do. And they did it every day. And it's silly, but it's fun. It's good for kids. And uh, the chimp's on it. And they have these. It's almost like when a guy comes out and does like a, one of these things. You know, the, oh, the, the ventrilo ventriloquist. Yeah. So they have this thing down. And the chimp's doing the chimp. And then at the end, they skate. They ice skate together. The chimp has skates on. <laughs> they're both in leotard sequence cowboy outfits with hats. And they both have on ice skates. And they start skating together and doing like skating backwards, skating in circles and holding each other's hands. And they go round and around in a circle. Right off the stage, it was set up like cocktail tables. Like it was almost oh like my a, God. it was like little cocktail tables of people at cocktail tables, and we were right against the stage. And the third day, the chimpanzee was being a little bit 
uh, feisty, unagreeable, feisty, okay. randy, whatever you want to call it. And it was notable. See, this is like a, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the chimp was already misbehaving, and he like in the, within the act, he was like trying to correct the chimp. Right. And then they start to do the skating, and they're holding hands, and they're twirling, and they're twirling, and they're twirling, and it just looked like there wasn't any. Uh, it didn't look like they had control. And then at the edge of the at the edge of the stage were these bulbs. You ever see like in a makeup mirror in a dressing room? There's all those bulbs. Yeah. This lined the edge of the stage, the bulbs, and they were all lit up. And the ice was behind that. And then they were they were going going going, and all of a sudden they go in a circle, and the chimp, the chimp lets go of the guy's hands, and he shoots forward, <laughs> shoots through the lights, the lights pop, and he launches off the stage <laughs> in full sequence cowboy outfit in, 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 the, in the ice skates in midair and just slams down on, a, on the cocktail table in the front of a lady of the two ladies right He's, he goes flying into it the whole cocktail table goes over he lands on a lady she flips over they're on the floor and then she goes ah the chip bit me the chip just bit me and she gets up and she had on like a skirt and a, a big meaty thigh was exposed and there was bite marks and like red blood <laughs> blood oh marks God. on the thing and the guy and, and the chip was going nuts the chip didn't know what the fuck was going on and the guy was like i was so nervous and he just jumped over the stage he got the chimp and then the chimp he took the chimp back on stage and the lady was going he bit me he bit me and he goes thank you very much everyone thank you so much ladies and gentlemen and he just like he was he was beat red and sweating and him and the chimp left the stage <laughs> oh my god dude that woman has aids i know i know and and and, and immediately after that the, uh like the owner the security run out and they lift up a leg and she's like i'll tell you why right now this has been hey babe Amazing. merry christmas uh, uh, don't be a fake don't be a flake don't run away from your feelings babe don't be afraid don't be ashamed don't hesitate to say hey 